Sure. I was. All right. Yeah, we'll just so. All right. So what did we do last time? We we got our dogs, uh, oh, yeah. and yeah. Earl, on the yeah. on the uh, on the boat. <laughs> we get the chairs oh, up there. Chuck and uh, Chuck and noodles. noodles. I know. Basically, the only thing, the whole like, last session was just us traveling to Zymorvan Hall, and getting attacked yep. by manicores. Yeah. So now we're here. Oh, but oh, and uh, Logar completed his training. Mm, and Dustin sword. That's what. Was that last um, game or the game before where your sword? Yeah, my 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 sword is Danny McBride now. Oh God, that's right. Your sword talked and it was like hitting on me. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, we were just about to get to Zymorvan Hall, I think. Uh, yeah, you guys can see it like coming up on the horizon. I need, I need to map. It is a uh, map. A, a a modest sized square keep that sits atop like a, a high hill with a sheer face uh, facing the the road. Right. Um, Resize this. As you guys are approaching, everyone make perception checks. Ooh shit! Sorry, I'm out there. Uh, give me a second. He sounded bitch, Andy. He's making dinner. Fuck off. He's downstairs sleeping. <laughs> Ed's sleeping. Leave him alone. Open up the doors of perception. It matter. Okay, this roll is going to determine how I'm rolling tonight. I'm excited. <laughs> Hope it's shit. Okay. Oh, man, that's how it works. <laughs> oh. You should have rolled out your ones. Here we go. You said perception? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say I'm not perceiving much. Yeah. I'm downstairs. Okay. No, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I uh, leave these on. walls. <laughs> Checklist, Lena. Uh, as you guys are, are coming up on this keep, you can see um, from your elevated position that uh, it has kind of like a, a courtyard area, um, and then there is like a wooden uh, <laughs> structure that you suspect. Uh, is like the hall itself and it's surrounded by stone curtain walls right um you don't perceive any movement on the walls or anything though like it doesn't uh, it doesn't look guarded from what you can it, tell is that because they passed or because they failed <laughs> uh we did fine is there a spot where we can touch down nearby Oh yeah, you could touch down at like the base of the hill, and then there is like a uh, a well-worn dirt road that leads up to the main gate on like the reverse side of the main road. Uh, I think we should put down there then. Unless <laughs> Teclas has s- some objection. Hmm? Sorry, I was in my own head. Were you talking to your? Were you talking to your sword? No. You see. <laughs> Are you sure your sword sleeps? Maybe. <laughs> Let, I'm letting I'll, him I'll tell, I'll, just in I'll, case. I will, I will tell Bresic to to put us down in that little oak clearing so that we can disembark. I like Bresic. All right. He's he's at the wheel as it turns out, so he just starts spinning. You don't get it. I want to go yeah, over here with Bresic because he's as he's. Uh, take this down. I want to watch this. I want to watch him work. I want to see a professional at work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What you what you see is mostly just him like maneuvering some ropes to uh to let off some some air in the the balloon, and then just kind of like holds the wheel all the way to one side as the ship just kind of like spirals downward. And he's just kind of like leaning on the wheel, like looking at you guys, looking at the ground. <laughs> looking at the horizon, looking at you Holy guys, kind of like, why are you looking at me? Hot How long have you flown this ship for, Brezik? Oh, about a year now. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I'm just going to not appreciate of that. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. He, uh, he straightens the wheel out as the uh, the ship touches down. All right. Let's, uh... I can't act too interested in flying. I'll give away my secret aspiration. <laughs> A dragon born without wings. <laughs> the saddest dragon. <laughs> Bad dragon. Ooh. Are we taking 
Who was that like with key? us? Hmm? Now you're here. Yeah. Oh. I was Are cooking the same dinner. The dog. That's what I'm doing right now. What you making? Chicken with Cajun nice. blackened, blackening seasoning on it. Mm-hmm. Let's just yeah, I'm trying on. to eat healthy, so just had my shake. And then this is it for dinner. Welcome to Fart Town. I made some yeah, really fart much. with chicken and shrimp. Nice. I ate KFC. Ooh, you fucker. Oh, <laughs> keep I'm down a pound and a half so far this week. So. Nice. Making progress. I'm scared to wait work. Um, so who has the seal from Me. What's Your Face? You do. Okay. You also have a letter. From, oh, yes. Uh, Isn't that for Droll, Ergala. though? No, no, no. Ergala gave you a letter. Yeah, oh, right. Uh, to, like, right, 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 right. Um, like, ask, like, asking this favor. Yep. No, it's yeah, it's a letter of introduction. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, who's we're looking for? Hamorph Zymorbin himself, then. Where shall we go? Yeah, let's can, let's just leave the dogs here. We don't need to take them. It may be distracting. Yeah, it's. I don't want to have to worry about them. Is anybody staying? Set the scene. Oh, no, uh, Albrecht just woke up. One of the, the crew is actually taking the um, the dogs out to just like run around in the grassy field you landed in and like do their business and shit. Not uh-huh. a dog. Yeah, you know we have to deal with this. All right, fine. I'm just gonna start I mean, making my way. I could this. kill the dogs. <laughs> They're just <laughs> dogs. <laughs> dogs are good. Dogs are on our side. I know, but they're just dogs. I mean, these aren't like people. <laughs> so slippery slope. First That's, they came from my dog. I don't know. You know noodles is horn. extremely people-like. I guess. You're, you're, technically, your sword is smarter than the dogs. Hey, are both of our, our, our dogs, you know, can they have puppies? That's not a good comparison. They're very different people. Negative. Both of your dogs are male. It's 27. Right, so, no, we basically just need a wizard. That's your death situation. What? No, it's because, like, my big strong dog wants to mount your dog and, like, have it have its offspring, and then it leaves and doesn't take care Can't of it. wait till next week when we reach as I move and keep. <laughs> I don't understand what you're suggesting. What do I, what do, what do you want me to use my magical powers to, like, well, do a doggy sex change? Yeah. Well, I mean, not you. You're not capable enough to do that. How do you know? I can change your sex right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I would like to summon all my magical ability to change all Breck's sex. Do it. Right. I'm serious. You better, like, can you do it? Do it. Oh my god. No Are you going doing. to attempt to? I have no do idea it. what I'm doing, but I'm going to do, do something. Do it. You're going to try and wildly channel your magic? Do it. Yeah, into, into changing Albrecht's gender. There we go. Your sister's going to be so disappointed. All right. You're going to be making two rolls on the uh, Let's the do it. Magic <laughs> Who needs to go to the keep? Too late. Nope. This is it. We got to roll Give me out. that table. <laughs> Give it to <laughs> me. Oh, my God. Can I just we'll be, be like, halfway up the hill by now, just grumbling? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm with Lena. I'd left this behind. You were just standing next to me saying, "Do it though." <laughs> that wasn't me. That was my voice in your head. <laughs> That's a good. Where's that, where's that table All at? Right. Hold on, I had to fucking bring. It I up. swear to fucking god, we get back to the ship and like <laughs> Albrecht's turned into some weird intersex barbarian. And it turns out that you can't wear your golden breastplate because you have a different body now. Ooh, All right, wrecked. Oh no! There we go. Here's Let's the first those. one. Oh! Uh, okay, right, okay, second's done. Are are we there? Okay, give me a second. Oh, are we there, Andy? Your mission is going there? on. Shit! I'm so glad that I am not here to see this weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? So there's the first one. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm one. trying to use my so, magic to change Albrecht's sex. There's a reason I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're not just me what's going on. 
basically, I was going to have him taste his dog's sex to, to where, like, to females, so, like, our dogs could have, like, puppies. And then, like... Oh, God. I don't care. Got, I don't he care. Got, he All got right, offended go because I said he um, couldn't do it. <laughs> you have to make him do this so, in real life. So here's here's what happens. Um, oh man, Nam, you, uh, <clears throat> Teclas, uh, begins like he closes his eyes and like see like the a vein appears in his forehead as he concentrates and he, his body is surrounded by a magical glow as his hands move in his somatic components. As he tries to channel the magic within him in a way he's not familiar with. Um, <laughs> anyone who is looking at him uh -oh. doing this uh, <laughs> sees a, a slit appear in his forehead. Uh -oh, that's not what it was open to, here. to a third eye. Oh my god. You turned, you yomped yourself. <laughs> I like how that's we're having a nice walk. That's not Yamcha, that's, <laughs> that's. Oh, that's TM. Nam, you are. Teclas is made aware of this as the eye opens. And you can see Albrecht, oh! who appears female. Oh, God. But only to you. <laughs> Additionally, everything you say for the next minute, you have to shout. <laughs> oh, you're a girl! I did it! He's a woman! Hold on. Is the first She's effect a woman. permanent? I'm sorry I didn't get your pronouns right! Is the first effect permanent? I you don't know. I don't, oh, like dear. I don't look like a woman. I still got the working parts down there. Are you sure? Either hill. What's going on? You, do I, how do I look, buddy? Oh, oh it looks the same as he always has. Hmm. Oh shit! I'm, I'm just walking away. I don't care. <laughs> I think this guy's magic himself retarded. Wait! Oh, it didn't work. Oh. I'm thinking you're hallucinating. Looks, maybe he looks so lumpy. Teclas, Albrecht has a really nice rack. <laughs> Can he it's kind of bulging, the... it's like pushing out his breastplate. <laughs> okay, you're, it's a... you're going to need new armor for those bosoms. Thanks. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> enormous, <laughs> enormous bosoms. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. <laughs> Sagan, are we far <laughs> enough away that we don't hear this? <laughs> uh, you hear some carrying on. <laughs> But you can't make out specifics and uh, All right, both effects I'm, end after a minute. I just I'm going my to go catch up with the rest of the group and now. And we keep going. Yep. Head down. I look. I, I I I take off after the rest of the group. <laughs> By the time you catch up, both the shouting and the eye have disappeared. Shit. Okay. And all right. appears male. Kind again. of. Oh fuck. Nice. Oh. I was hoping you were cursed. <laughs> I look at him and oh. And you're a little disappointed. <laughs> you had some weird shit on your head. Gone now. <laughs> I know. I could see through it. It yeah. was weird. Yeah. You know what it was? It was your mind's eye, I'm pretty sure. Oh, boy. So yeah. you guys are approaching this hall. And uh, it's got, um, like, a big, sturdy set of double reinforced doors in the curtain wall with the, the road leads up to. Uh, mm. And they're currently closed. Uh, right. Does it look like there's like a bell I can ring or like? Is there a big old door knocker? Yeah. Uh, no. Is there, anybody, is there anybody above the gate on the on the battlements? Make a perception check. Mm-hmm. You gotta use that with the uh, dice rolls. Mouse is dead. Up. Oh. Boom. Uh, negative. There's no one up there. Right, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna knock on the door. Hey, how high is this gate? Yeah. Uh, the curtain walls are about 30 feet up. The, uh, the the doors themselves are about 15. Does it look like I could climb the walls? Are there any loose rocks? Anything sticking out? You have a jumping ring. I'm, Make an investigation I, check. I can, no, I'm asking because I can jump the door, but what am I going to climb up? Because I got 18 feet. <laughs> uh, I mean, it looks like... Uh, like, it's not in the, the best condition, but you can't seem to, like, pick out a path that you could take to get up there. Have any of us yelled yet? No? No. Okay. I was gonna peek over. I was just gonna knock. Do it. That's a good idea. That's usually what you do with these kinds of things. Well, with All what? Right. Your hammer? My hand. 
All right, it's, a, it's okay. All right, Albright, you pound on the the gate a few times. Um, mm -hmm. A few moments pass, and uh, the uh, the one of the doors starts opening inward, and uh, a a face of uh, a young man, like probably early twenties, uh, with a really terrible haircut, like oh, pokes hey. his head out at you, and like looks at you all and he says uh can I help you? What was that What was that woman's name again? <laughs> Ergala we're, uh, we're friends of Ergala from Tribor. We've come to speak with Haymorph Zymorven Well, ignore that's that her, that's, that's, her, her, that's her now that's <laughs> Pick it up, oh, kid I don't know if any Haymorph Zymorven but Lord Hartho Zymorven lives here That's, you know what? I'm sorry. It's my accent. That's that's right. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, he's just inside. Yeah, he, uh, he steps back and pulls it open more uh, to allow survive. you guys in. <laughs> uh, as you guys enter into the courtyard, you can see that there's like a little stable area off to one side, um, and uh, like a. Uh, a, a pretty decently sized, like maybe a quarter of this courtyard, is um, like a really fancy uh, flower bed, mm -hmm. and there is uh, a middle-aged man that uh, this kid uh, gestures to, who is kind of like knelt down and uh, and potting some plants. What's he wearing? Yeah, what's he wearing? Oh, he's got like a a dirty old apron on over just some like uh, some like a white shirt with some rolled up sleeves. He's got All gloves right. on. Okay, so I'm assuming it's like dirt from the gardening. All right. Okay. It's down. Yeah, yeah. He's totally just working on his garden. Cool. I'm gonna let's let's go see him. Yeah, he, uh, he looks up 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 to you guys as you approach and uh, just like finishes what he was doing and puts a, a plant into the ground and uh, pats some soil onto it. Uh, claps the, the dirt off his hands and stands up and, uh, and introduces himself. He says, I'm Lord Zymorvin, master of the castle. What can I do for you? Uh, hello. Uh, I'm Lena Anakis. I'm a friend of, uh, Lord Protector. What was her, was her last name Durathra or was that her first name? First name. Rapper Shendral, right? That sounds right. Yeah, Shendral from Tribor. Uh, we've come to uh, speak with you about a giant slayer longsword that you uh, that you possess, and I show him the little badge that Olgara gave me, or uh, the protector gave me. Yeah, he, uh, he takes it from you and uh, just gives it kind of like a cursory look and hands it back, and he, he nods and he says, "All right, uh, yeah, just uh, let's go inside, find uh, somewhere nice we can sit down and talk." And uh, he, he leads you towards uh, the big wooden structure you saw from the air. And you guys head in, and you can see that there is like a, a sort of um, uh, like a fest hall kind of kind of theme going on. Like, there's a big uh, hearth just in the center of the room, mm -hmm. um, and some uh, some benches and tables to one side, and then just like an elevated table at the the head of the room. And uh, he. Uh, he gestures to the room and says, Make yourselves at home. I'll get some food out here and we can talk. Okay. He, uh, he heads off into a, a back room. Uh, after a little bit, he, he reemerges, bringing the food out himself. Uh, it seems to be like a, a pretty rudimentary stew. Uh, what have we been? The cauldron that he what have we been on eating the on, the, on the ship for like the last week? Whatever you had with you. Not that Fashion. much. <laughs> yeah, the, the crew has like some hardtack and stuff, and they so this up is some probably like pretty dope. Stuff when they're in towns, so. yeah. Nice. Oh uh, yeah, it seems like a like a hearty venison stew. Nothing yeah. fancy. I'll help myself. Thank you very much, uh, Lord Zymorvin. <sighs> Certainly, okay. certainly. So, how is Tribor these days? Uh, it's it's all right. It had had some giant problems recently, but we took care of that. <laughs> oh, giant problems, you say? What kind? Fire giant problems. Oh man, we've had some uh, some hill giants up this way, but 
we don't have a lot in the way of like resources and stuff that they'd be interested in, so they don't generally give us too much trouble. Well, I doubt they'd be much trouble for a giant slayer such as yourself. <laughs> well, those days are gone. But uh, I still patrol these roads, and uh, the the security of the road is uh, in my charge. We uh, we spoke to someone who claimed she knew you, a woman named Olgara. She told me to give you this. And I present him with a letter. So, go, huh? And he, uh, he just kind of, like, glances at the seal, pops it open, and, uh, and starts reading. He, uh, see, I'm, see, if we brought the dogs here, they'd be begging. It's a bad habit. Yeah, he folds it up after he finishes reading it, and he says, Hmm, I see. Well, it's true that I, I owe Regala a favor, and I would happily give you the, uh, the sword I possess, or once possessed. Mm. My my errant son made off with it when he absconded with some little woman of his. Oh? Of course. How long ago was this? Well, some months back. How old is your boy? <laughs> you could call him a man, I guess. Oh, so he's seven. I had a marriage all set up for him. <laughs> he throws it in my face. Just uh, insisting that uh, I can't even remember her name. She's some thief out of Yartar. Oh, Claiming it was her love. and Of course. I, who knows what he's going to do with the sword on it, probably. He can barely Kids, lift it. Children these days, right? Oh, so wild. Who yeah. can understand them? He rolls his eyes and nods in agreement. <laughs> yeah. Who would spurn their father's choices for marriage for love? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, <clears throat> he points at you and he's like, Exactly. You know what I'm talking about. I can tell. Oh, yeah. yeah he's being I totally know what you're talking Excuse about. Excuse me, sir. He's totally being facetious. Familiar. He's very busy. So, what is uh, what is what is, what did you say was your son's name? I don't think I caught it. Ah, uh, yes. It's been got a long time to remember him, buddy. It's, your well, son. It's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> what are you here's, eating? Here's my question. I have a pen in my son. mouth. <laughs> Shit. Here, here's here's my question about your son. Does Harthal. he know Harthal? what he's Harthal. Harthal. doing? Yeah, after me, Harthos. Right. Does he know what he's doing? What do you mean, does he know what he's doing? Yeah, what sword? do you mean, does he know what he's doing? With anything? Clearly he doesn't. Nice. He wasn't being facetious. You said he went to uh, something, Yartar? Yeah, that's where she's from. You think that's that's where they absconded to with the sword to elope? Beats me. It's probably the uh, it's the only place that I would think of to go. But I'm not gonna go find him. You can go and have whatever it is he thinks he's gonna find with her. Mm hmm. What if? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> no, Douglas. Why don't you finish your thought? Well, let me tell I you. I don't remember I anymore. I am a budding giant slayer myself, and this sword is very important to us. <laughs> well, best I can do is point you towards the Artar. I wish I could be more help, but did you did you did he give us the the woman's name too, or was that just you just called he her some call. thief? Yeah. If <clears throat> if if we were to find your son and he was in some manner of trouble, would you have him returned to you? Have we yes. got him out of there. Do you want us to repossess your son? Yeah. Do you want well, us to do that? Can do whatever he likes. Let me just check something real quick. Woodrow, you yeah. haven't been muted this whole time, have you? He's eating, probably. Oh, okay. I mean, I have been, but willingly. Okay. He's eating. He is literally eating. I popped in. I thought I said at least a couple things. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Not really. No. All right. Hmm. So this complicates things a bit. He, you know, I mean, we need that sword more than he does. Oh, that's no. Are we whispering that? Are we inferring? No, no, no. Teclas is just saying that. <laughs> okay. I thought, I, thought, I thought you were like sitting next to me. Parthos, <laughs> <laughs> uh, giant problems agrees. to deal yeah. with, and you know, you know, of the world-saving nature. We can only that. kill so many without that sword. Yeah, you see this big guy over here? I pointed at Albrecht. I'm like, he has got some arms, and they could use that sword to do something. Arthur's not appreciative when he's like, as far as I'm concerned, the sword's still mine, albeit in his possession. So right. if you were to so, come upon it, I would gladly just let you have it. Right. Okay. That's not what that means. I would ask that you not harm my son, though. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we would never harm your son. He's in love. That's right. He's protected by the power of love. We can start. The, the most strongest, strongest magic. The strongest We're not kind of magic. Your son. Professor Dumbledore <laughs> of the Covenant taught me that. <laughs> He's being facetious. No, I'm not. Dumbledore was one of the most powerful wizards there. I it's thought you were talking about fucking Harry Potter, sorry. Go back to this mead making in the corner. <laughs> what? Just carrying around release. a bucket and churning. All you need is yeast, water, and honey. Wow. Uh, right. I, I believe you. I love that mead. Teclas. Mm. We're going to detour to Yartar then. I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. We haven't been there yet, have we? I pull out my map. Yeah. Your I'm map? Tr- I'm trying to, but I can't <laughs> remember what it was called. I can't remember what <laughs> pocket I put it ah! in. Holy shit, it's too big. Too big ah! for my tiny screen. I also uh, Control Yart- click it to uh, resize. Is Yart- Yartar's not on this one, is it? Because it's further west. Uh, yeah, it is... Um... You just need, uh, west you need of the other half. Horn. It does. It's really hard to make it line up. It's just it's west of Calling Horn on the Evermore Way. Okay. West of. So it's over there by Nornar's. Like yeah, it's Nornar's on the road Nornar's back Nornar's towards Tribar, basically. Yeah. All right. That's what I remembered, and I was like, "This is right." <laughs> well, that's not terribly far. Not with our. <clears throat> <clears throat> Parthos <laughs> chimes in with It's still quite a journey You're of course welcome to spend the night here That would be most kind Well I think we'll have to have a talk With uh With young uh Parthol Good lot talks done me Has your uh has Never your gets son... through that thick head of his it, it, does your son... why, does... why do you think he took the sword does he like swords? Is he a warrior? Or do you think he did it just to spite? <laughs> he doesn't have an inch of martial prowess in him. So I don't know he... why he took the sword. Maybe because it's magical and he thought he could sell it. You think it was just some teenage rebellion? He thought he could make a quick buck? I think a sword looks tough when you're running away from home with your lady. Oh. That's true. Yeah, yeah that work on me. Yes, it is a phallic symbol. <laughs> looks like a dick. The gold yep. make a <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I gotta break it down for Ether Hill and Logar here. Well, uh, I guess no, no, uh, no, you don't. I guess we can leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> he doesn't get it. Look at him. He's clueless. I t- I like tapping and touching all over Ether Hill. Look at him. <laughs> I kind of just smack his hand away. <laughs> <laughs> just don't make him mad. He'll break you. <laughs> Stab him. All right. Yeah, I mean, we 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 would gladly take you up on your offer. And we'll be away tomorrow morning to to Yarta then. Sounds good. The uh, the guest rooms are just over here on the other side of the hall. He starts uh, coughing then, like really, really grossly. Oh, hey. <laughs> and uh, uh, an old woman that looks like a crone kind of like shuffles in. Wow. Uh, so with good. a uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> with a 
uh, a cup of something that smells really bitter and hands it to him and uh, one of he slugs should... it back and like <coughs> clears his throat with it hands her the mug and she shuffles off give him a lesser restoration yeah I, uh, are you ill lord Zymor? yeah you want to do it <laughs> Uh, it's just an aging body, I'm afraid. Give him your, your can, can, uh, I have, I have, I have some skill with healing people. Can I, uh, can I try? Don't be in, afraid by his glorious visage. Yeah, he's actually like. Let a him friend. put, let him put his hands on you. He's a friend of Bahamut. That's he is the I justice am. of Bahamut. Which I will tell you about a great length. Why not? Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to buy a watchtower? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh... He kind of regards you, Lorgar, um, and then, like, nods and offers his hand. I'm, uh, gonna grab his- I'm gonna take off my gauntlets, I'm gonna witness a miracle, boys, I'm gonna grab his hand, and I'm gonna put one hand on his chest, and I'm gonna try and lay on hands him for whatever that's worth. And maybe a little- um, Maybe a little lesser restoration there for- for- for the shit of it. I mean, I'm going to bed. Uh, lesser rest- like, he's at full hit points, lesser restoration. Uh, would probably be more what you're aiming for. Alright, let's, let's do less Can we combine two lesser restorations and do a greater restoration? Negative. <laughs> oh. Good. I thought we could take we could each take one hand and just I'm, do a combo uh, move. I'm going to uh, try and lesser restoration him while uh, praying to uh, Bahamut the whole time in a, sl- uh, a very guttural, slightly creepy mumble. Do you have sure. like your hand on his forehead? And you're about to um, dispel the sickness from him. <laughs> so he's kind of uh, muttering a prayer in Draconic, and uh, uh, a golden light kind of emanates from your hand and and into his chest, uh, mm. and he kind of gasps and uh, killed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he, uh, he just That's recoils wrong. a bit, and then uh, the magic from your hand fades. Um, and he hops and, uh, up and skips and starts doing it. <laughs> yeah. No, he uh, sleep. he uh, he takes a few like deep breaths, uh, places his own hand on his chest, and uh, I says, "Ah, the clicking's gone. <laughs> I can't can't fix the age, but you know, can uh, maybe buy you some respite." I I do feel I feel better. I was suffering from a terrible headache and. That's gone. I feel clear-headed. Thank you. Thank Bahamut. Probably an infection. <laughs> thank you for your hospitality and thank Bahamut. And uh, I'm gonna Is head on order. To... You got any anybody Bahamut. else around here who's got says, a cold? Uh, what do I what do I owe you for the healing? Oh, please. you have already paid in hospitality beyond uh, what I can repay with such a simple act. <clears throat> there you go. Oh, well, thank you. Certainly, uh, enjoy the rooms, and uh, there'll be breakfast in the morning. Love breakfast. Oh yeah, I love breakfast. Excuse me, my uh, my begonias are uh, gonna need shelter from the coming winter, so I'm pulling them up. Can I go help him with that? Is sure. this like the one lord that shouldn't be guillotined when all the revolution comes? Guy seems pretty chill. Seems like it. I I I I offer to help him with his gardening. I was out of range, but um, I'm. Albrecht is all about breakfast. Oh, we yeah, heard you. <laughs> yeah, we heard. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm about what breakfast. What kind of breakfast is it going to be very good? <laughs> Me, our breakfast is good. How many meals will back. be available? All breakfast. All breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the whole reason why I said this entire thing. Yeah. Well, you should have said it. I did. Yeah. Whatever. We're pulling those begonias or what? Yeah. Uh, make an nature check. Hell yeah. I want to use my inspiration. Sure. <laughs> Twenty-one. Uh, he's yeah, like so a motherfucker. He's uh. So what he's doing is he's pulling up the uh, the flowers and putting them in pots oh, no. and then moving them over to like a little greenhouse area he has for the winter. Um, and you actually uh, managed to. Show him a few ways to uh, to do it faster and more yeah. efficiently, which he thanks you for. Uh, and by the time night falls, uh, you guys have done like a third of the garden already. There you go. Happy to help. He's quite thankful. 
I don't get to use my green thumb when we're on a fucking flying boat. That's not often. You, you want us to install a garden? Huh? We don't have any space for a garden. What are you going to put I'm a greenhouse sure, in that I'm thing? I'm sure we can find somewhere <laughs> to put it. I fucking love food. <laughs> Alright. I'm done. Uh, yeah, so if uh, no one else wants to do anything during the uh, the evening, then it'll be morning. And there's breakfast as promised. Alright, what how Eggs and some sausage. That's okay. okay. Thank you for the meal, Itadaki Brag. Yep, Itadaki Brag. He's even got some uh, some salt and pepper that he brings out onto the table. <laughs> Yo, we don't need that, remember? Oh, shit. <laughs> I we've busted got, out. We've I'll got pour, Mr. Uh, Mr. Albrechtium's I, magical I, solarectium. I, I pop the uh, the button off the leather holster and slide it out the bottom. All slide. <laughs> is it like uh, is it like one of those little change belts? You know, it's like it's like yeah. Val Kilmer with his shot glass in Tombstone. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on the belt on the side. I'm gonna walk over to people's breakfast and I'm gonna flick it with my finger and watch this place come out the bottom. Like, Marcos like, is like, like, impressed like, and, uh... You like some of this? You like some of this? Absolutely. Yeah, you he, get uh, it. He knows. He's, he's got a magic yeah. sword. He's seen magical items before. Hell yeah. You know what this is? I really wish this I had one of these when I was on the road. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, I do. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 That's the most fun. <laughs> I human think is the gold armor has changed, both, bro. I just I gotta I make sure Teclos doesn't take too much because he's got some medallion on. All right, I'm sorry. I only eat like a fifth of what everyone eats. You like half a sausage. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I made a. I'm eyeing Teclos's leftover I, breakfast. I, I I make sure that Zymorvin knows that Teclos isn't Do being I? rude. He's just got a magic medallion. No, That's I'm, true. I'm I'm Teclos. May I have the rest of your breakfast? Go for it, big man. I'm Teclis. going for it. Breakfast. I like it. Going for it. <laughs> He's, it's not that he doesn't like it. He just, you know, magic items. He's got a thing. If yeah, he eats I, like I, normal, I, does it just I, get like I jingle my medallion at him. So, <laughs> <laughs> nourishing medallion. He's, does anybody else have stuff to jiggle that's magic? I'm deploying my salt. Shaker. You did like a day ago. I can walk on water yeah. too. There the you boots. go. I got that. Oh, are we doing this now? Yeah, and I can jump real high. Guys, <laughs> we gotta put on like not the guard. We gotta put on like a show. Hey, you want to see something cool? I draw Ashrun. Oh, it can God. talk and make Whoa. shadow. It's really cool. What's it say, look at his. Look at it. Oh, wow. Good morning, Ashrun. What's up? I can't believe that sword's so small. Ashrun yeah. says, "What up? We ready to slay today?" Hell yeah, we are gonna slay something, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I put it back in the sheath. <laughs> oh no, no, your sword's a bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, as you're sheathing him, uh, he kind of like lets off a a quiet sort of joking yell of "Too pristine!" <laughs> and fades out as you, you sheath him in. That sword talking is the worst thing that's ever happened to this person. You guys can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, this is all just happening in Nam's head. No, oh, thank God. <laughs> Only Douglas can hear Danny McBride, Asheroon. But uh, Hartho's comments that he's only ever seen uh, one other sword like that before, even in all his years on the road. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Really? No, not exactly like that, but something clearly of that power. I told you guys oh. it's not all that weird. Do tell. What What was it? Yeah, the, the, the not evil one. <laughs> he says, uh... Oh, uh, there's there's this uh, this guy that ran with us for a while. Timothy, I think his name was. Oh yeah. He had, uh, a powerful name. <laughs> he had this uh, this long sword that uh, he would draw, and it would be encased in lightning. What? Oh. Didn't yeah, talk. Pretty cool. Tim- Timothy, who? Oh, uh, I didn't talk. Is yours talk? To, to me. What? Oh. That's weird. Apparently, yeah. it's very rude. But it's cool. He's yeah, nice. Magic, you know? Nobody can figure out where mine came from. <laughs> Not even you. Not even me. Not even or the me. sword, apparently. The sword is so old that it can't remember who made it. <laughs> I know who made it. 
<laughs> Harthos chuckles and like leans back in his chair and he's like, yeah, not a lot of people can make magic items these days. There's so goddamn many of them. It's... Who knows, man? Is that, uh, that giant slayer sword of yours, it doesn't talk, does it? No, at least not to me. Thank goodness. Killed giants real good, though. That sounds great. How does it... What special property makes it so good at killing giants? I don't know, it's just something about it does more damage to them. <laughs> That's how, good, we're gonna be fighting them. How many giants have you killed? Uh, I lost count some years ago. Shit. Well, you, Lena's, you like Lena's in the dozens, though. Dozens? Yeah, my rate of return really went up when I got that sword. Yeah. Yeah, there's more giants than you killed, I think. It, job, shut man. up. I know. <laughs> He's cool. I like this guy. Thanks for breakfast, man. You want some more spice? I've only got oh, five. Yeah, lay it on. All right. I'll give him a good old big thing of spice. This we time I make it all star and easy. Do you have any? Do you do you have any hot giant slang tips? Hey, hey, guess what? Don't you get got, under them. Do you got easy some hot enough. water? Here, What's that? I'm, uh, hey, rich man, do you got any hot water? Here you go. It's coffee. You like that shit? <laughs> the <green> spice. <laughs> I ground it all thin, all thin like those Starbucks. Wait, does Albrecht think goods. that this guy they is think, retarded? They think it's coffee grounds, but it's actually Folgers crystals. You don't know. I feel like, like I'm putting like Folgers into like, uh, the hot water. Can tell the difference. Why do you think coffee is new to him? No, 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 no. no. But he wouldn't expect it. He wouldn't expect it. That's true. He wouldn't expect a man thing. to pull coffee grounds out of his pocket. Yeah, it's the spice <laughs> thing. I'm making the spice. Yeah. Come on. It's magic. It's magic food. It's one of the greatest Zero things our crew has bought, and we got it so cheap. I have yeah. no idea what we're even talking about. The all spice thing. The, yeah, the universal spice remote that we bought and in the knickknack shop. With oh, I must have missed this. Air. You weren't there. Yeah, yeah like that was one of the things we bought on our shopping spree. Because we went to a magic dollar general and bought a <laughs> shaker that has every spice in it. <laughs> and a flask that saves us smell. Yeah, that's a really good. Good. That was a really Lena good Lena bought purchase. something too. What? You Didn't passed on the anti static electric comb. Yeah, that's what it is. That's right. Yeah, we passed on that. Oh, uh, you guys did? Come on. We don't need it. Yeah, until you got some fucking electric spider web dungeon that we're in. God damn it. <laughs> uh, did Lena it. get something too? I thought Lena got like a little knickknack. I think I bought the shaker for Albert. Okay. No, no. the uh, sure, yeah. you got a long quiver for her. No, 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 no. That was those were different flies. That was no knickknack. And that's, that's a that like is not a knickknack. <laughs> <laughs> Yoga man. Uh, Arthos gets up uh, as you guys are, are kind of like chattering on about equipment and stuff, and uh, returns with a, a couple freshly baked loaves of bread that he's wrapped up. Uh, oh hell yes! For the road, we love bread. It's real bread too. It's good bread. It's not whey bread. <laughs> it's not whey bread, no. Oh bread. Yeah, no, this is just uh, just straight up good home fresh bread. Hell yes! Don't let the crew have it. This is for us. Put it in the bag of holding. <laughs> All right, add two loaves of bread. <laughs> Ooh, I could go for some cheddar bread. Yes. Do you have any crazy bread? <laughs> Crazy bread! <laughs> any hot and ready, you little hot and ready crazy bread. Uh, no. <sighs> um, hey. let's uh <clears throat> get a move on. Yeah. I uh I will reach out to shake his hand and um, tell him that if he ever needs help with anything, uh, to get in contact with uh, myself or my sister. Uh, at uh, Mirror Stone, <laughs> and he shall have it. And um, if you're in the I, area, stop by. You'll find a friendly hearth and some beds. And then, um, once we're about to roll out, I will uh, say, "Well, I guess we'll be going." Yes, and I wink at him. And I make a joke about the flowers. 
Oh, God. Is, I don't. Is there a message you want us to give your son? Uh, you're oh, yeah. like our welcome. This is little thing. Uh, he he kind of like pauses and thinks about it for a moment. Uh, and he says, "Yeah, tell him I'm not mad anymore." Okay, I will. We can tell him that. Yeah. That's easy to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm writing it down right here. On I'm writing now. it down. I'm not mad anymore. Downward said. Hey, how's his arranged uh, marriage? Uh, his prospective wife feel about this whole business? I don't know. I thought you arranged it. I'm not her dad. Do you want us to? Do you want us to? Do you want us to take her with us and make him feel guilty? No. Yeah. 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 No. What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? What's your name? Yeah. Who is she? Is she cool? Some last from Neverwinter. Oh. Wait. Oh, come on. I'm from Neverwinter. I totally know. Oh who's yeah. He he knows everyone. Bum, bum, bum. It's bum. He uh, he kind of like snaps his fingers trying to recall her name, and he can't remember her name, but uh, he gives you the the house name, and it is a uh, a minor house. Oh, well, you know well regarded, him? but but not like politically uh, influential. Mm-hmm. Friends of yours? Oh, uh, <clears throat> no, not really, sort of. I mean, not not friends, not enemies, not you know, they're. And then I just kind of make a little, like, little little tiny fingers gesture. <laughs> What? They're like they're like the. Oh, like they're small. Small potatoes. Small potatoes. Small potatoes. Oh. Ah. I okay. I understand. I understand. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that expression before, of course. <laughs> but I was making a white power symbol. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. All right, you guys, head out the. Uh... The young stable hand lets you out through the gate and closes it behind you. I'm gonna kill more giants than old dude. How many of you already got? Five. That's oh not even God. one dozen. Make yeah, uh that's... make perception checks as you guys are heading down towards the uh the ship. Oh, shit, I'm leaving. Five's not bad, right? <sighs> no, it's like no, ten five humans. Is, five is five is respectable. <laughs> He was still very young, Lena. Don't, don't take that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> we know Logar had at least like 50 giants, right, Logar? Elmo? No. 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 I uh, did not hunt giants. I hunted mostly uh, ne'er do wells. wells. Normal sized <laughs> people. <clears throat> so, uh, techless, <clears throat> as you guys are uh, descending toward the ship, uh, and uh, Albrecht, you notice this as well. That uh, <laughs> sorry, it seems that several of uh, the, the crew members are lounging in the chairs. Ooh. Deck. <laughs> you know but, what? It does buy us like some goodwill. Are you, are you hitting all of them? Are they using all the chairs? Oh, the ones Why that you can see. Chair, man. It's just a chair. Fine, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, we, have dogs. Dogs. we have the dogs. We have the dogs. They deserve a rest sometimes. Yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, yeah, dogs. as you guys get up onto the ship, you can see that uh, Brezik was in uh, Lorgar's chair, and he, like, springs up and just runs to the wheel without saying anything. <laughs> uh, Delphine is did. dozing cool. in Edra Hill's chair with noodles in her lap. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Aww, Noodles is a good boy. Well, how do I do this? I, I, I want to go up to Brezik and say, imagine how good it feels if you had a tail. How do you like that tail haul? How do you like this tail? Uh, his eyes kind of shift around as if he's not sure how to respond to that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, instead ask you for a destination. Um, Albrecht Shuck uh, comes up from under the deck. Hey, buddy. You guys getting on and runs up to you and starts licking at your... At your legs, and you're jumping up on your your waist yeah, and stuff. I'm, I'm pick them up and carry them around like a like you know you would a dog. 
a, he flings that at your a, face a and then just kind of like <laughs> yeah, yes. the dog. and just kind of like looks around panting happily. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Who said this is a bad idea? Just like you're back. I fetch the dog. Rustic wants to know where you guys want to go. Uh, Yartar, please. Are we doing that All first, right. or do we want to go to... Well, it's it's not far. I, I know, but the other places are closer and on the way. We could do those first and then go there. What if this guy tries to run again? What if he takes off west? We'll find him. His dad's we not always- dead. Find them. I've no doubt of that, but it's a lot easier ah! to catch him here. Ooh, that hurts. I mean, I guess we gotta come all the way back then, but sure. We have. Also, a I mean, you know, flying so get money. Gee, sorry to interrupt. That was my mother-in-law saying she could, couldn't log into Netflix. Oh boy. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways. Did you tell her not to fucking break kayfabe because you're in your fantasy stuff? <laughs> You know, I don't think that would have gone over super. <laughs> anyway, Excuse me, sorry, I answer Rinaldi. only to Lorgar right now? <laughs> I'm a dragon man! Dragon! Look, I mean, I think I just think we should take care of this first because it's not far and he's on the run, but if you guys want to hit up Silvery Moon first, it's fine. Mm. If, if it's a majority vote. We know where the guy is. Let's oh, go yeah, there now. So, yeah, so yeah that's what I'm saying is let's catch him while we know where he is. Yeah, intel is, is very valuable. The trail is people. the trail's still hot. We have this wonderful ship. Yarta, then, Bressic. Aye, aye. We uh, start not spinning what the wheel like. and fill in the balloon. I'm going to spend time during this voyage um, training the dogs to smell the dragon. <laughs> well. only about three days. My okay. dog is for rest and relaxation only. <laughs> He's a therapy dog. I'm training my dog to do high fives. <laughs> I'm okay, not gonna, I'll bring, I'm make not, an animal handling oh, check. I also want to change no, the smile on command. Check. You know, can I can I assist Nom? Uh, I'm you gonna may. use my inspiration. So Nom doing an advantage. Okay. I'll click ADV. Yeah. Oh, you're good. 18. All right. Uh, I'll, be your, I'll be your dog whisperer, your interpreter. Albert, you uh, you get Shuck to, uh, to high-five you once, but then he doesn't quite get it. <laughs> Whatever. Shuck, Shuck's That's super fun. dumb. He just didn't care. He just didn't seem to. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, sorry. This dog's cool. Uh, <laughs> Teclos and Lenny, you take some time with noodles. And uh, get him smelling the flask, and uh, I don't know how you'd make him like associated with negative stuff, but like hit it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever you end it smells up it, doing, you punch the dog, and it <laughs> learns that if it smells that, uh, pain is coming. Regardless, you get him suspicious of that smell. No, I can talk to him. I could be like, "Hey, watch out." Watch sure. out for that, st- that dragon stank. That dragon stank. That- yeah, you, you train them. You train them to like. It's like when they they smell a thing that they don't like and they start barking. You train them to bark and make a ruckus well, when they not, smell it. He's not going to be a fucking pointer. He's a beagle. No. And I still got to do my training with Lugar. Yeah. Yeah. My my sp- my I invent my new spear style dragon yeah. fight technique. I'm uh, I'm gonna go at it with you in uh, are you gonna full put, armor. Are you putting the lead side on for this? No, no, this is opposite. Like, I still want to okay. do a little dancing around. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> oh we're no, he's at done. some point he's with my leotard, and we're going to town. Um, Fine. But uh, I'm gonna be this with like full axe and shield up with sure. uh, you and your spear, and we we're gonna screw around with someone with heavy, heavy armor. All right, you guys are sparring, teaching the dog stuff. Uh, eventually, you guys, a few days pass, and uh, we're passing over the see... Evermores, right? Uh, let me double check the map. Probably. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you're going over the Evermores. Does it look nice? Does it look cool? 
It looks <laughs> like a swamp. But a swamp from above. Yeah, it looks kind of just like a big brown splotch of uh, gross looking trees and foliage in the air. Mm. But eventually you guys uh, see Yartar in the distance. It is a, uh, a large fortified city um, sitting on the east bank of the Deseran River. Um, on the west bank is a, uh, a big citadel that serves as a sort of checkpoint <clears throat> for merchants heading east to west. Um, they are joined by a, uh, a bridge, and uh, the citadel just leads out onto the road. Right. Okay, where are we going to hop off? Uh, Bresnik points out a, a point a little uh, east of the <clears throat> of the city proper. Um, or a little north, rather, and uh, he's able to, to set it down there in a in a clearing. Well then, we've got the guy's name. <clears throat> we didn't get his woman's name, but we know he's got the sword. And if he can't use it, he's probably going to try to sell it. So, question: so maybe... Is detect magic work for swords, <laughs> Justin? Or, I mean, techless. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but it's only got a range of like 60 feet or something like that. Yeah, right? okay. That's, can that's we locate limited. object on it with one of our 10 rods? Have you seen it before? We've never right. seen it before. We don't know what it looks like. Well, I was going to go say, there every time. If we know he's going to sell it, we might try asking around, seeing if he's tried to. Edward Hill, what about. Uh, you could talk to the, the. Your less than reputable brethren. Yeah. What of them? Oops. Would they know where a man of this repute would be dwelling? You mean a noble's son? A noble son on the run, specifically. Who's with, trying to uh, pawn a valuable item. Trying to pawn a valuable family item and has, I would guess, uh, a fond love of low places. And his girlfriend's a thief. His girlfriend's a thief. I don't know, maybe. Oh, Edra Hill know. happens to know that uh, Yartar <laughs> has a thieves the guild. <laughs> Could you ask the thieves guild if his girlfriend was a thief? They're known as the Hand of Yartar. Ooh. Who's the Hand of Yartar? What? It's the the local thieves guild. They're not a uh, like affiliated with the Zents, but uh, like you know of them because they're present in the city. I mean, I guess. I mean, if they're protecting him, they're not going to tell me where he is. Uh, but they might know his girlfriend. That's a lead. All right. Other than that, we just need to, you know, see if anybody's tried to pawn a magic greatsword. I mean, we know what he looks like, right? Well, he looks like that guy, because <laughs> it's his son. Well, I mean, yeah, we yeah. can go ask like the local inn, see if they stayed here. Yeah. Yeah, and he he won't be traveling alone. You know, he'll be he'll be with his his lady love. And a giant slayer greatsword is probably pretty hard to miss. So that's another distinguishing feature that might help us find him. Additionally, from my time with nobles, I found nobles cannot shut up about being noble. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've heard that too. <laughs> mm, I think that could be a way to find him potentially. All right, where should we start then? Should we take it up with the Thieves Guild first? Or start uh, making inquiries. Um, to the tavern would make the most sense. That could be a hit right away. You know what, man? You're the one who speaks the secret thief language, so. Yeah, you've got. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, let's go do that. For, that seems to be what everyone wants to do. So let's go do that. We, we could die. You're the man. You're the man today, Idra Hill. You're lead on this mission. That's right. You're point man. You know what to point do. Man. All right, Idra, give me an investigation check. Put your nose out on that street. <laughs> get, out of, get out there. Get your ear. And some smelling salt. Put your, you put your, put your you, ear uh, to the cobbles. You're looking for a uh, <clears throat> a seedy tavern of a certain kind. Mm. Snooping around oh, the city. That sounds about right. Yeah, man, you, you uh, as you're poking around, uh, the street corners talking to beggars and uh, and shady types in alleys, uh, 
Like you are you are kiss. led to the wink and kiss. The what? Which is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a creepy little brothel slash tavern. Sounds like a cool place. Uh, right. You guys uh, waltz in, and uh, it's kind of a, a dimly lit affair. Uh, <laughs> see some uh, some gentlemen at a table playing cards. Uh, a few in in shadowed corners. <clears throat> Look, look uh, a man with a, a large scar on his cheek is behind the bar. Logo, be cool. Hmm. All right, I'll go <laughs> walk up to the bartender it. and ask him if he's <laughs> can't. If... Although thinking oh. about it, if I was a uh, brothels are not illegal, why would I give a fuck? I know, but there's disreputable types here, so just keep it in your pants. He's a grown up, Fine. and I may or may not. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have to if he don't want to. He didn't have to live by your rule. Yeah. It's his rule. I have no Bahamas rule. Wait, what are we talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Once you ask your sword, Cholo Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? and we'll talk to the, the fucking yeah. bartender. No, really. talk <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you say to the bartender? I walk up to him and get uh, buy everyone a drink, and then in Thieves' Cant, I ask him if he has seen any of the uh, a odd young noble with a thief girlfriend coming through. Tell him about big ass sword, sword on his He's back. Got a big sword. Uh, he uh, he kind of dispenses the drinks and uh, is kind of just like talking about the weather with you as this conversation comes through, um, and. Uh, he, uh, he kindly uh, indicates to you no, but then uh, gestures to one of the uh, one of the patrons at the bar who's kind of got like his head down in his in his arm and his hand wrapped around a mug, and uh, then goes back about his business. Mm. All right, I guess I will go approach that guy, see if he's even awake. Uh, yeah, he appears. Uh, not awake. Dump his drink on his head. No, no. I, I lightly him? nudge him. Jump his drink in. His uh, yeah, as I loudly sit down next to him, trying to wake him up without being too startling. Oh uh, yeah, his head jerks up a little, and then like before anything else happens, the mug goes to his lips. Hey, you need a refill on that? Oh hey. A friend, certainly. Yeah. I, I, I get the guy's forward. attention and order him another whatever he's drinking and then begin talking to him. Uh, thieves can't. Uh, asking about the same guy. Uh, hey, have you seen, you know, weird, shifty looking noble that probably uh, thinks he's being far more conspicuous than he is? That kind of thing. Uh, he indicates to you, uh, Thieves can't that uh, he doesn't personally know of anyone, but he could find out for a price. How much? Uh, he uh, he indicates um, very, very subtly 500 GP. Ooh, you better I snap my <laughs> fingers and motion Lena to, to come over to me. Hey, wh- yeah? What's up? We need 500 gold. Why are you asking? Why... My servant here will give you the You're gold. the one with the bag of holding. <laughs> You're the one with the bag of holding. Fine, I, I give him the I gold. I reach into his bag of holding. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> All you uh, you pull out a, uh, a coin first with 500 gold and subtly slide it over to him and uh, it is just gone off the, the table and uh, he nods and... Uh, uh, slams back the rest of his drink and uh, and stands up, wobbles a little bit, and he says, "I'll be back in a couple hours," and uh, starts like shuffling over to the exit. Good thing you inside check. Leans on the, the frame before for a we moment, paid him, <laughs> and then uh, and then continues out. <laughs> He's never coming back. <laughs> so you know this? What what did he say he was gonna do? Said he was gonna find out. What he was just gonna find our our man? Well, he knows someone who knows where the guy is, or at least of him. 
Okay. And so we're just to wait here then. I mean, you can go pursue other ventures. Mm-hmm. This, this seemed to be what everyone thought was the best choice. All right. Yeah. Um, whatever. Let's play darts or something for three hours. I'm gonna. Is there a dart board? I play darts. <laughs> uh, there is. I'm gonna walk that dog. I challenge the bar to darts. Uh, there is a, uh, a really gross dude with like a, a pencil thin mustache that has been. <laughs> My dad's the gone. Curls. I'll be gone for a minute. All right. All right. Who uh, who slides up next to you and takes you on? A fighting style darchery. <laughs> and you guys start playing darts. What do I roll for darts? Stroll a d20. What? I don't get any bonuses. I'll let you use sharpshooter. What? What does that mean? I could take it at a minus five? I mean, yeah. I can't add my archery fighting style or my dex bonus. What does your archery fighting style give you? Plus two, two range attacks. Oh, that's what I meant. Oh, Not yeah. Sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah, the fighting the fighting style is plus two, and my dex bonus is four. Yeah, that's fine. Go on so and that's do that. Basically, my to hit is yeah. So can I just use my regular to hit then? Sure. So that'd be nine, uh, eleven plus nine. Twenty. Uh, yeah, you win. He doesn't seem too phased about it, though, and was spending the whole time, like, leering at you. Oh, great. <laughs> There's no one else in this bar who thinks they can outshoot me? So, we have three hours, so theoretically, couldn't we go to, like, a guardhouse or, uh, the Harper's, Justin? What else would be in the town? Someone's I don't know gonna have to stay in the harbors here. Mm. One of the reasons I was gonna do it in Silvery Moon is because that's where like they're centered. Mm. Harp it's central. Like a, it's like a big hub of the harpers, yeah. Teclas is gonna get drunk. <laughs> okay. Teclas is drinking. Let's do our trick. Teclas is drinking first. Okay. Do a lot of drinking. Let's do it. This time it's going to be flaming arrows. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I also drink. I am not uh, tempted into this place. Con saves? Con saves? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Lightweight. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's not too bad, though. I'm trained it. <laughs> Lena, you uh, you end up hitting the sauce a little hard and uh, come out of it kind of looking like that dude who left. I oh, know I've had two beers. <laughs> Techless, you fare a little better, but you are certainly in the realm of drunk. Woo! Adventuring. Is there is there is there so like so long? I am is back. There some, is there some fruit out? Uh, no. Can't do the trick that way. Uh, we use a loaf of bread. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, adventuring this giant thing. It's. I want to ask the bartender like if he's got any fresh fruit. Forever. What the fuck? Uh, the bartender. Uh. <laughs> Indicates that this is not the kind of establishment that has fruit. What about vegetables? Give me a tomato. Uh, best he can do is like a potato. This Fine. entire time, I am making sure that it doesn't even look like I'm associated with them. God damn. Okay. Potato. So no. I'm just take off in the corner. <laughs> I'm walking the dogs. We didn't take the dogs. Oh, God damn it. Fucking, what have I been doing? Where's Would you make a deception check? What? Teglas, put deception. The put, a what? put the potato on your head. Potato. Potato. <laughs> what the hell happened uh, to him? Yeah. I just was out walking by myself. He's drunk. Put it, put it on your head. 
Okay. Go stand over there by the dartboard. <laughs> Wait, I gotta make more meats. Hold on, hold on. I forgot how to do this. Go do it by the dartboard. Oh my god. How do you do this? I'm, I'm, gonna, c- I'm gonna cook this potato. Letter, that's a fucking second level spell. You know that. Okay. I'll go with this. We're drunk. Just do, right. just do one. I'll just. All you right. know what? Wait, just, no, it's. I can't. It's I just, got three. No, got, just you. No. Why don't you drunk talk no. to your sword? I got the... Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to draw Andrew real quick <laughs> and pour wine on him and see how he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill. dip him in. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Drink up. Drink up. Ashford is like, is that blood? No. <laughs> the blood of the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, we're conquering grapes now? Fucking yeah, got him. Got him. Oh, God. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Put it back in the sheet. Potato machine. on your head. Okay. And then I'm going to go stand where she wants me to. And, stand uh, in front of that dartboard. Cast, oh, boy. cast yeah, mirror like that, image. Man. I'm going to bolt my this potato. There's four me's now. Which and is the real I'm gonna, one. Uh, I'm gonna put, the, statistically put, the, put the potatoes on my heads. All of them got the potatoes. Good people, look at this trick. Trick. <laughs> good trick. People are watching. Oh how my many, god. How many techniques are there? Four? Four. Yep. How Four many techniques does this tech I'm going to walk in a little <laughs> circle. Why so they follow me around. You should haste me. Keep the, potato, keep the potatoes on my head. This is look cooler if I was hasty. I... Oh, God damn it! You no, that's a <laughs> third level spell. I'm saving that. Fine. That's too much. All right, I'm gonna shoot the potatoes. <laughs> All right, make an attack roll. <sighs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the arrow uh, flies into one of the phantom techlises and plunks into the wall. That phantom techlis is probably going to disappear now. It does. If they, if they get hit, they disappear. I'm um, zeroing the sights. Kill them, <laughs> son of a bitch! He's murderer! There's three more! Oh, boy. People are watching now. <laughs> 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 Uh, your your arrow plunks into the wall again, but hits one of the phantom potatoes, which doesn't move. Got it. Potato! And that phantom disappears. Got it. <laughs> it's getting better. That one um, hits the real potato and plunks it into the wall. Got it. Got him. <laughs> Number four. Got I'm em. just watching this. <laughs> stuff. Oh, shit. Uh... You let loose another one as Teclas has stopped and just started to like do a jig in place, celebrating. <laughs> Got him. Um, and Got uh, you, you cleanly bisect the arrow with the potato in it with your <laughs> your critical. Nailed it. That's right. I like that, peasants. It's fucking dope. The dope. Uh, is... Those are fire arrows too. Is a potato cook now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they like when you call them peasants, but okay. I'm sorry. It's a habit. I thought you were like the class four guy. You yeah. drunk. Well, hey, you down to these people. Are, are they oh actually God. fire arrows? Aren't they? Nah, it wouldn't been. even. It wouldn't even matter. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there's okay, like yeah. one or two cheers and some claps. Uh, then everyone goes back to their games. Fuck you guys. That was Drinks. amazing. Are you drunk? I, yes. I, I walk back over. You hear someone everything. in the background go. No one even got hurt. <laughs> hey, you're fucking about hey, to if you don't shut yeah, up. We can fucking change that, buddy. Yeah. I, I, I say as I wobble. I'm, uh, I'm both, of you make up. both of you make perception checks at disadvantage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't care. No Shit! Care. I dropped a twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Teclas, you uh, you spin around and just grab the nearest guy next to you and yell that into his face. <laughs> uh, Why you actually spot the the guy who said the thing who is like 
like uh, surreptitiously trying to get out the door. <laughs> and, and what is the That's guy? Right. That what does the guy that I'm grabbing look like? Get out! Uh, he is uh, like a, a middle-aged dude with a, a big beer belly, and uh, like his his shirt is already kind of ripped up, and he's got a bunch of like <laughs> faded tattoos on his arms. I say, my sword is thirsty. Did you taste me? I'm... He's like, oh. he throws his arm around you, and he's like, my knife's always thirsty too. Oh no! Sit down, play a game. What are we doing? He okay. sits you down at the uh, the table with the cards, and they start dealing you in. Oh no! Hell yeah! I'm good at this. <laughs> Let's go. This, this, <laughs> we're gonna. Have, this is another dragon. <laughs> uh, one of the guys across the table, uh, like glances at everyone else at the table, and then looks at you, Teclas, and says, "Buy-ins a hundred gold." Fucking whatever. I'm gonna <laughs> walk over and stand behind Teclas. He had need your help. I'm, I'm doing I'm, it anyway. I will throw down a hundred gold. So boo- it, right? Booyah. Drunk nobleman. Uh, <clears throat> uh, roll a d20. That is me. I am noble drunk. <laughs> and what do I do? Roll a d20. Okay. Is this a situation in which I can use inspiration? Sure. Fuck does yeah. It, does this count as a, a save or is this a check? Or is this anything? What is this? Uh, so do this, I, do, do I roll with advantage? Straight d20 advantage? roll. Man, okay. uh, roll with advantage. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the, uh, the hand comes up and Teclas, you get a really high hand. And, uh, you win and take the pot. Fuck yeah! Uh, everyone else at the table is grumbling, and uh, one of the other guys says, "Double or nothing, let's go." Do it. I'm there now. Do it. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Do it. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, Except this time, I'm going to use uh, Tides of Chaos to give myself oh, advantage. No. You fucking shit lord. <laughs> you shit lord. Oh, boy. Okay. This won't go bad. You goddamn shit lord. Oh, Nine. shit! <laughs> <laughs> you technically are cheap. Uh, you get another high hand. Uh, However, the... Uh, the guy who spoke last gets the only other hand higher and oh laughs God. and pulls the money away from you. Fucking no more money. Okay. You are down 200 gold. Do you want to keep going? Do it. Um, I don't Do think it. I can. So I'm down the 100 I put down and the 100 I, I, I have already, right? Do it. Tech You're down 200 gold. Right wood. Say again? Yeah. Can I make like a perception or insight check on the guy who won the last hand? Uh, yeah, make an insight check. Is he cheating? <laughs> yeah, man, cheating. Dude, he is cheating. I'm, he, what he is? Yeah. Oh, shit! He cheated that hand. You watched him slip an extra card out of his sleeve. Borga. Yes? That man's a cheat. How do you know? I saw it. I saw <clears throat> him. Someone else, know. not even at the table, uh, pipes up. Cheat! Now you're a cheat! That man's a cheater! <laughs> cheater! <Yeah. laughs> Suddenly everyone is on their feet <laughs> and, like, picking up bottles and stuff. Hell yeah! I'm I, I'm going to rush we need to this come. guy, dude. I'm gonna grab him by the collar. And be like, Did you fucking cheat me! And I want to grab him. Fucked up, up now, buddy. Uh, everyone needs to roll initiative. Hell yes! <laughs> Far fight. I'm not a part of this. 
Sure. Oh, I am. <laughs> Remember when we came in here and I was like, look, our be cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. 19. I broke my own rule. <laughs> that happens, dude. I'm sorry. You didn't know this? Cheating? That Wait, especially I gotta take a lower guard. You're literally... What'd you say? You're literally in a thieves' den, and you're surprised there was cheating. I, I, won, I won my money. I won. I won rightfully. You know what? It was he his cheated fault. my idiot friend. He yeah, it was his fault friend. for trying to cheat on my watch. I was drunk. He got me. Let's get him. Uh, so things start happening before anyone has a chance to react. <laughs> um, there is a fist flying at Teclas. <laughs> Bring it. I'm not afraid. Is this, was, is this, is this your first bar fight? What's yeah, your AC? Buddy, not my scan uh, My AC is 18. No, Albrecht has never been in a bar fight. Luckily enough. <laughs> All right, so you're what? you're you're going yeah. to like grab at this guy across the table and a. A fist sails out and like stops you where you are as it passes in front of your face. You are unharmed. The moments. It's not his. It, this is the guy. So I'm going for the guy who is cheating. This yeah. is not right. his fist. This is not his fist. <laughs> okay. You're all. This in isn't bar fight music. In trouble. Uh, you are right. This is not. <laughs> Do you have something from uh, what's that movie with the kicks? What? Okay. Yeah, yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there is a bottle flying at Lorgar. Oh no. I'm like goddamn armor. Why would I care? Yeah, it uh, it just crashes against your breastplate, doing nothing. <laughs> uh, there's a foot flying at Albrecht. <laughs> also, does not miss Albrecht's just sidesteps, and the dude nice. stumbles past. Where's that guy who looked at me weird? Uh, he is coming up behind you for a grapple. What a creep! Does 18 hit? Wait, is it a grapple? Yeah. It's an athletics. Shouldn't that be a, a, a contest? Uh, yeah, roll your, uh, your athletics. Or acrobatics, actually. It's either or to escape. Yeah, the escape is dex or strength. I'm gonna do acrobatics. Ah oh, shit! Oh, dude, he's drunk. He uh he comes up behind you and wraps his arms around you and pins your arms to your side. I can't reach my uh, rape whistle. He starts uh throwing you up against the wall. He's going to next round. Fuck. Uh, and then it's Teclas' turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is cast hold person on that fucking moron who cheated. Okay. So, <laughs> I'll roll out those dice. It's so about time we had a good old bar fight. He's got to make a DC 15 wisdom save. All right. Or be paralyzed. Hey, are we going to kill these guys? He sure doesn't. He is, he is paralyzed rising from his seat. That's and fucking his eyes right. Are darting around frantically. I suppose, right on. I suppose we, you could are. Just, we could just do non lethal damage. And then I'm gonna draw Ashru and be like, Shadow Sword, that's right, y'all fucked up now! <laughs> and that's my turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y'all done fucked up! <laughs> the hungry! Alright, Lana, you're up. Uh, what do I have? Which one is it to escape the grapple? Uh, you just have to make uh, an acrobatics or athletics contest. Okay, so I can, I can use both. It's only athletics if you're initiating, right? Uh, you can use either to escape. Yeah. I'll use athletics then. Okay. 24. Oh man, you slip out. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, he, he, uh, he goes to, like, throw you at the wall and you're able to just, like, catch yourself and prevent the impact when you're free. Is that my turn? But, uh, he's coming at you fist raised. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah, my turn that is now? your turn. Okay. Albrecht. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna attack the guy with my fist. 
Which guy? Just the guy, guy that tried to kick you. The guy who cheated is paralyzed by my spell. There's I'm a guy still gonna, I'm still gonna punch him. Alright, go ahead. Alright, might you just need to do like an unarmed attack or... Probably, yeah. Yeah. How do we do that again? <clears throat> the actions? Uh, yeah, uh, if it's a d20 plus your strength mod and proficiency. Wait. At this point, you guys' proficiency is three, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so three plus your strength mod, which is uh, five. Uh, yeah. So d20 Where? plus eight. Which one's the d20? The one all the way to the left? Yep. Yeah, the one with 20 sides. Oh shit! In the gut. Pound, pounding him. Uh, all right. Um, you uh, you pound this guy in the gut. Roll uh, a D4 plus your your strength mod. Go ahead. Uh, all right. You uh, you punch that guy in the gut for for eight damage, and uh, the the spell no longer has a hold over him, but he is out of breath and uh, on his knees and looking to get the fuck away. Mm -hmm. Papa Brecky, Brecky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lorgar. Hi, how far am I from this motherfucker that cheated? He was on the other side of the table, wasn't he? Yeah, he's within, like, a five-foot step. There are people all around you, though. Toss that table. Yeah, I want to, uh, fucking go right at this guy. And uh, the table's in the way, I want to toss it out of the way. And I want to, uh, cast the Zone of Truth as soon as I get within, uh... What? Uh, grabbing distance of this guy. Okay. Well, you don't trust me? No, I'm gonna make him yell it. Oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> All right, uh, as you uh, you move towards that guy, two people take opportunity attacks, uh, hurting their hands on your armor. <laughs> <laughs> We're indestructible. <laughs> oh, what now? Um, so you wanna you wanna grab this guy? Yeah, I'm also debating whether I want to hit those guys, because I have Relentless Avenger, I can fuck their shit up. But no, we're going to go for this guy. I want to grab him and cast Zone of Truth. Alright, make a uh, make an athletics check as you go for the grapple. I'm going in, boys. Uh, yeah, you're able to just grab him and lift him up to his feet. And, uh, you cast Zone of Truth. I want to, um, basically climb up against the wall as hard as I can and start screaming at him with Zone of Truth up, pure imitation styles, uh, screaming, you know, and I would scream, but it doesn't get upstairs, uh, you know, did you cheat? And uh, I just... Make an, intim an intimidation check with advantage. Some intimidation. Intimidation. Okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna use luck. But you rolled a 19. Yeah, but it's not a 20. I guess. Right. You don't have to take the luck roll either, do you? What are the rules for? You know what? Check this out. Wait, I can use. No, no, wait. Let me just look up luck briefly. I think I think I can pick. I can pick in between it. Yeah, I think so too. You don't have to waste it, because I can do something even better. You, I'm yeah, not you can waste your luck. What do you have to do? I can just use my reaction to spend two sorcery points. And um, do um, bend luck, so you get to add one d4 to your roll. Oh, shit, yeah. We do that. Yeah, yeah, so roll a I d4. Am. I'll roll it, because it's okay. my roll thing. Roll that shit, boy. Mm. And so you get a 22. Alright. Uh, yeah, you slam him up against the wall and scream in his face, and uh, he, he is, like, trying to, to catch his breath still, but you see, like, tears welling up in his eyes, and he's like, Yes! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I told you. So, do people hear this, or is it just general melee at this point? I think. I think uh, there, there is a lot of shouting and screaming and punching and kicking and bottles breaking. Tables now, getting turned over. Now you have the truth. Hmm. What should I do to this guy? Just try and knock him out and then continue to lay about? <laughs> yeah, he's a cheater. Okay, cheater. I'm, I'm he gonna still has him. the money. Does he? Yeah, he oh, took yeah. out 200 gold. Uh, I'm gonna it's, like it's more than that. He won like a thousand altogether. I yeah. wanna hit one up with my helm on. You wanna what with your helm on? I wanna headbutt this guy with my helm on. Not enough to kill him, but like, I don't want him up and about. Just tell him you're doing non lethal damage. If he goes to zero, yeah, he gets non lethal. Out. <clears throat> Alright, roll the d4 and add your strength mod and proficiency. Okay. Or no, it's just strength, because of the damage. Where's my d4? So, d4. 1 plus 5 plus. So, 9. Alright, yeah, you, you crack him across the face, and uh, he's not unconscious, but he's now bleeding through a broken nose. Uh, I get I get two of these, right? Or is that only for weapon attacks? Uh, no, it's an attack action, so yeah, yeah you can do it yeah. again. Alright, I don't fucking smoke him in the head again. Alright. Fuck this guy. Don't do, don't do massive damage. Big rolls! Big rolls! <laughs> Alright, yeah, you, you smash him in the face with your helmet again, and he crumples to the floor. Good, fucking cheater. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm done. Alright. Got that I'm money. a huge justi justice boner right now. Like, you have no idea. Can I stop you? Uh, at this point, a lot of the fighting is between other people uh, in the bar, and uh, victors in um, like particular engagements are emerging, uh, and things are starting to slow down a little. <sighs> you telling me I don't get to beat up that creep? Uh, no, because combat is still going, it's just starting to wind down. Okay. Um, but he is going to, uh, attack you with his fist. He's not trying to grab me no more? Nope. 13 ain't gonna hit? Uh, yeah, you dodge out of the way and his fist cracks into the wall and he yelps. <laughs> this is the guy with, like, the little pencil mustache, right? Yeah. So he's just like this weird John Waters looking guy. <laughs> yeah. He's creeping on me. I, I almost feel like <laughs> you should get like something for just having trained against me for two days in huge person fights before this. Because I haven't just, gotten like... to attack yet, so who knows oh, what's gonna happen. That's true. Uh a boot's coming at Teclas. Ooh shit. Jesus Christ. What a guys are all drunk. Kick. That's true. This is a big <laughs> messy drunk fight. <laughs> um, yeah, this uh, this boot comes at Teclas from the side, and uh, and Teclas just kind of steps back, and the dude stumbles in front of him. You know that same fucking idiot? <laughs> uh, the one that tried to kick Albrecht, yes. All he does is kick! <laughs> is he the one who tried to punch me too in the beginning? Uh, you do not know. He's doing a kick style. Uh, but then it's your turn, Teclas. Nobody okay. knows it grudge like a nobleman, honestly. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fucking cast Eldritch Blast at this dipshit. Oh my god. Knock him, him down. He's, he's popping. It's force damage. It's, it's force, force damage. It's force damage. It's force damage. I can he's just force pushing him. Force damage. <laughs> so I get two, two let bolts. Him, let him pop his little bar. Oh like no! <laughs> That's an natural one for that. Oh god, this place is gonna be uh, a mess. Please roll the damage. <laughs> Oh god. That guy, that guy is gonna come back for Ed. There's like one a damage. hole in the wall. I still get one other bolt for that, because it's two bolts, because that's level five. Roll it. Okay. That one's gonna do five. Okay. Um your uh your first bolt skews off and uh and hits Lorgar in the back for one. I'm sorry! <laughs> He's kind of fucked <laughs> uh, It just feels like a punch to your back. Like, you don't see what happens. 
or what it is exactly, <laughs> but it's not an unexpected sensation in this kind of situation. <laughs> um, then the uh, the other one hits the guy that you were aiming at, uh, and uh, knocks him off his feet. All right, and then real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna hasten a uh, cantrip, and I'm going to cast friends on that guy. So he no, has to Greg. make. Are you shitting me? Yeah, he has to make. Um, <laughs> oh, that isn't hostile. Never mind. I can't do that. Um, I'll just do. Uh, I'll do another Eldritch Blast on him to try to knock oh, him out. God. Let's not knock him out. Okay. We're gonna destroy this building. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Christ. And then one more bolt. Yep. He knocked out. Uh, yeah, you hit him on the ground and it, like, slides him along the ground, uh, into the far wall, and, uh, he is no longer moving. Also, at this point, everyone is running for the exit, and, uh, like, as soon as the magic came out, the whole, like, (laughs) Tone shifted. That's right. He's run away. In. Run away, terrified. He's and uh, yeah, everyone who is not knocked out, please. <laughs> God damn drunk. What are you, a warlock, a sorcerer? I don't even know what you are anymore. <laughs> I'm both. Ah. Uh, you guys are now standing in a trash tavern. Man, I need uh, to get that. With a few uh, unconscious bodies laying around in the corners, and Idrahil <laughs> just sitting in the corner watching it all. <laughs> I'm gonna walk over to that guy you cheated and take my fucking money. Yeah, I'm. I'm all about fighting the greater injustice at this point. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> go uh, so that, that dude had in various coin purses 1500 gold on him yeah, mine you gotta wait here for the dude though <laughs> all right i've got a bunch of money now uh, i'm gonna go sit back down at my table if i have to set it up i will yeah I'll we'll set my we'll, table back up we will reorient the table i'm gonna sit I'm gonna, down at it i'm gonna order another wine I'm gonna sit and uh, There's and no one left to take money. your order. I go I'm behind the bar and I get too. wine for checklist. <laughs> Let's all sit and drink and count my money. Hold on, guys. Here is 200 gold for you. I give it to Lena. Okay. <laughs> and then the I, leave, I leave 10 gold on the bar as I go behind it to get checklist tricks. Okay, yeah, I give 200 gold to everybody. So Lorgar gets 200, Albrecht gets 200, and uh, uh, Idrahil gets 200. I flick a coin off the knocked out dude's body, and I say, clean yourself off! Then I pick the coin back up, put it back Uh, up. I I keep the bulk of it for myself because I want it, so I've got like 947 gold. Hell yeah. Are we going to keep drinking? We should should probably go. I'm gonna say, we gotta wait for the dude. Yeah. We wait for the dude. Does anybody come in like what <laughs> in between now and then? Nobody does. Sometimes you just shout into the void, man. Yeah. Just screaming at the darkness. One time, my back was thrown out. Yeah? Oh, shit. I was talking to Mute. Um, Yeah, so, uh, as you guys are are waiting, um, uh, a few people come in, see the state of things, and leave. One of them is a dude who's just, like, hands in pockets, whistling, and uh, he just, like, comes in, spins on a heel, and leaves. Like, <laughs> no no change in expression or anything. Just in and out. Fine. Um, yeah. 
Eventually, the guy that Andrew Hill talked to uh, walks in and uh, sits down at the table Andrew Hill's at. Uh, <laughs> doesn't seem phased at all by the state of things. Uh, and starts talking to Andrew Hill and Thieves Can't. Oh. What'd you find out? <laughs> so, uh, this guy relays to you that, uh, some, some dumb young noble uh, was certainly coming through town flashing a fancy sword and uh, got himself arrested for murder. Oh, shit. Is he being held in the local jail? He sure is. Excellent. Thank you for your help. Yeah, he nods and uh, walks over behind the bar and then, uh, like, appears to just disappear behind the bar with a bottle in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy's style. I, I say to the group, sort of half-drunkenly still, you know what I learned today? What? I'm good at gambling. Not that well. Pretty cool. But you, you're good at seeing people. Gee, we're a team. We're a team. We stick I, together, you and me. <laughs> this is our, this is our next adventure. <laughs> we're gonna go bust up some casinos, start counting cards. <laughs> we're gonna have our fucking uh, twenty-one casino adventure. Idra Hill, being a, a man of of the street as you are, you would know that uh, that going to jail, this guy would be relieved of his property. Hmm. Yep. We could just go talk to them and tell them we need to, but we need to get him out of jail and He's get him to his dad. Convicted of murder. He's been yeah, arrested. We gotta go for talk murder. to the magistrate and find oh, out what's that's going true. on. I don't know. Yeah, we should figure out the. So we should is, probably ask. This about is this. now Lorgar's wheelhouse. That's true. Ah, this is, this is, where did Lorgar go? Lorgar's not here. Where is he? I'm I here. I'm just. I'm just waiting to get the shit out of here. Logar, Logar, Logar. Do you want to solve a Do you want to solve a murder case with me? Yes, <laughs> but, uh, I I think we should leave here. So. Wait, I'll come with. I'm a noble. They'll listen to me. What time is it at come this on. point? It's <laughs> uh, sometime in the afternoon. Wonder if I can get you idiots to sleep it off. Uh, Just uh, on our way out, I leave a fifty gold tip for the bartender. Spell, uh, clean, dirt, okay. us. Restore us, Lorgar. Can I? I'm not sure it's worth my my spells on you. <laughs> I think this might help you purify your spirit. I think he's had enough pure spirits. Yeah. Mm, Touche, <laughs> Albrecht. Good job. Good job. Mm. Um. So what the fuck do we do now? We need to go to the jailhouse, I guess, or rather, the sober ones should go to the jailhouse. But yeah. I got, I got this, and I slap the crest on my chest. Uh, can, you try, can you cure him of his drunkenness? I could, but I don't want to. Okay. Just I'll drink a bunch of water. I'll be fine. <laughs> Listen, I'll need those spells. Um, well, let's go to the uh, jailhouse then. All right, you guys head out and uh, get directions from uh, from some city watch, and they uh, they direct you towards the center of town where you arrive at a, a small sort of like Westwood style jailhouse. It seems like a more of a holding facility for uh, like transfers elsewhere or a drunk tank. I, uh, I want to kind of approach, um, get a motion to the group and say, you know, stay with, I'm going to motion to the group and say, uh, you know, Albrecht, Edriel, did you, uh, did you watch these two while we do this? All right. Hmm? Wait, who's going to watch? I think I have a valuable contribution to make who's, who's, circular who's, quest. What? Okay, let's, let's approach this jailhouse. Oh, all right. I want to go in the front door. Uh, yeah, you go in and um, you can see that uh, there are an array of cells uh, lining the uh, the back wall, and uh, most of them are empty. One or two have uh, some people just like sleeping on the floor. 
Wait, am I outside um, with Techles? That's up to you. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I want to come inside. I'm following Lord. No, no, it's we just, we just <laughs> let Lorgar do his, his work. Uh, stay quiet. Be a uh, a human man um, in some chain mail with a um, a large ornate greatsword on his back with oh. a uh, like a big ruby in its hilt. Huh. And uh, he's standing over by one of the uh, the cells with his arms crossed, um, talking to uh, a young man who is like weeping and apologizing, and uh, and like he keeps repeating, "I didn't mean to kill her. I didn't mean. You have to understand." And this guy is just like standing there, shaking his head, and that's the scene when you walk in. Uh, hello. Hello, yeah. uh, lawman. Hello, the, uh, hello chain lawman. Man, uh, <laughs> turns his attention towards the door, he's like, Oh, finally, someone else to talk to other than this weepy sack. He certainly appears to be a sack. He, uh, <laughs> he walks over and offers his hand and says, I'm Captain Brenner, what can I do for you? Hello, I'm uh, Arbiter Lorgar. This is uh, my uh, esteemed party of uh, fellow uh, enforcement agents. Mercenaries, please. please. Uh, I mean, mercenaries can be such a harsh word when people can do so much good. I know your type. What do you need? Uh, We have recently been at the keep of Lord Zymorvan, who is uh, a quite the delightful gentleman, and he informed us that his son, this sack in your cells, has recently... Oh, yeah, sto- him. Has, uh, ...has brought disgrace upon the family name, and has recently fled, uh, fled his ancestral estates, and come to cause what appears to be no good in your city. He does, he says, and now he's a murderer. He's gonna rot away in Waterdeep. Mm, what happened? Who did he murder? Eh, some woman. Thief. A thief? Do we know any more about her? <clears throat> he, uh, he waves his hand he says, I think she's affiliated with the hand. <clears throat> right. She's mm. dead now. Well, they were... And this bastard killed her. How do we know he killed her? Well, he's standing over a corpse saying that uh, he didn't mean to, he didn't want to, and he's sorry, sorry, so sorry. That does seem compelling. Mm. Um, may I, uh, the uh, Lord Zymorvan, although estranged from his son, still holds love for his son in his heart. May I uh, go speak with him? Yeah, he just kind of like dismissively waves, like, do whatever you want, and uh, moves over to a, a desk in the corner and he sits down and starts filling out paperwork. I'm gonna go let Lorgar go talk to the prisoner. I'm gonna go talk to that guy. <sighs> Lorgar, why don't you use that troop, troop zone? <laughs> well, uh. Do that thing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wee bit worried about uh, Techless talking to this guy with his sword <laughs> and his drunk. Oh, hey, go over there saying. because he's got chairs. I, I want to sit I in have one. A, I had a mechanical question. When Lorgar uses Zone of Truth, does it compel everyone around him to tell the truth? Yeah, it's everyone in a zone, yeah. Oh, how big's the zone? It is. 15 feet, I thought. 30 feet? Good, decent. Decent size. How 15 far away? foot sphere, 60 feet go. anywhere how, I look. How far away is this warden guy? Um, That's a good question. Uh, sorry, what was the distance? 15, 15 foot feet. radius sphere. <laughs> uh, yeah, he would be outside of it. Hi, okay. I'm Chuckless Brightwood. I discharged my magic inside of an end shortly after coming to <laughs> Um, While he's doing his paperwork, I'm going to kind of... Uh, um, who understands giants Me. among the other two? Everybody. Silver people. I can read any language written. What are you talking about? I'm fine. 
I think I'm, <laughs> I'm not so drunk that I can't talk. I'm just going to say, in I'm giant, gonna... really quietly, Albrecht, please watch over these two and make sure they do not cause a, a more unnecessary drama. I've already Mr. had my fun. Oh, Thank you. Please. Um, Edry Hill, do you want to come with to talk? Ed knows giant. I told you. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, let's let's do it. So let's. Uh, you guys can talk with. with yeah, you guys, <laughs> with you guys do your good cop, bad cop. All right. Uh, what do you want to say to this guy in the cell? Harthal is his name. Um. Yeah. So you want to be uh, you want to be good cop, Edward Hill? <laughs> Oh, that's a thing. Okay. Should I be good cop? And you be bad cop. I feel like you'd be better a good cop. Hey. Right. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna come up and say what's his name? Hawthorne? Her- Harthal. Hello, Harthal. Your father sent us. Yeah. He was uh just kind of like um curled up in the corner of his cell weeping, and when you when you mention his father, uh the weeping just gets more intense. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm disgusted. I'm just disgusted. <laughs> There's no other way to describe what I'm feeling. Um, <laughs> do you want to, uh, do you want to yell at him, Edra Hill? The nights didn't work. Well, I think he's just gonna start weeping more if I yell Slap at him. him. He's oh, out of in his cell. No, you're outside of his cell. Wait. He's on the back wall. Oh. What are we trying I'm to figure say, out from this guy I'm again? I'm say, we can help you. You need to talk to us, though. There's no help for me! Didn't, doesn't I one of us have, like, calm emotions or something? <laughs> you can't go home until you tell me what happened, how you came here. I'm going to prison forever! He's going to jail for ever. <laughs> He's going to jail for sure. Not, ne- not necessarily. What happened? I killed him. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Did you use a deagle? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> On rust. <laughs> I know. Uh, how did you kill her? What happened? Was it an accident? Was it on purpose? An accident. Accident. I don't know what happened to the fist! What's wrong with you? I just look at Edra Hill and I'm just like, what the fuck with this guy? I don't know, man. Um... <laughs> do we even give a shit? Do we want to just try and get the sword bail on this loser? I don't know. I don't give a shit about this guy. Fucking just a quick. We got okay. Shut up. Shut up. Um, Should we be trying to throw him in jail? It depends if he actually did it or if yeah. it was on purpose. He needs right? true justice. Um, what I mean, happened yeah, he... so fast? Uh, he just wails and cries more. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna say, your father said he isn't mad at you. <laughs> oh, it's too late, Daddy! <laughs> I am singing. He's gonna, he's gonna be mad at you now. Oh my God! Um, <laughs> this is why I wouldn't talk to the other guy. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, what are you talking to him about? Yeah. Um, I sit down in the chair. I. Do you turn the chair backwards? No. That's you, Albrecht. Hi. (laughs) Yeah, he Uh, glances up at you and kind of like gives you an acknowledging nod and then goes back to his paperwork. My name is Teclas. I put my thumbs in my waistband. Never mind. (laughs) And, um, yep. That's Uh, right. It's Teclas Brightwood. So... Mm -hmm. Listen, that guy, cry, 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 by, cry, guy, cry, by, cry, cry boy. Baby. He cry sighs baby. and he's like, "Yeah, what about Harthal? Did he have a fucking big sword, big old, big old sword, this huge ass sword? It might not be big XL. What it looks like 
sword though. He had a sword. He, he interrupts sword you and jerks his thumb to his back where the sword resides. And he's like, That's yeah, he did. No business carrying it either. Is that the sword? Is that it? Is that it's it? It's my listen. sword now. Listen. Okay. Oh, here's, well, listen. Here's the deal. That kid's a murderer. The sword that becomes sword. property of the city guard. To I wit, know. me. I know you are the man. But listen. Uh, his dad is the rightful owner of that sword. It is stolen. Us, have it. Stolen from him. Oh, by his son. no. Is this. Oh, his son absconded with it. Oh, no. And we have been sent to find it for a pivotal mission involving giants. See, that, that sword is going to save the world. And we need it. Make a persuasion at disadvantage. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. A disadvantage. Disadvantage. <laughs> no. Uh, Fucking. Holy no way. shit. No way. No. <laughs> I rolled a natural 20 and an 18. No. No. He, uh, <laughs> he sighs and puts down his quill and, like, turns to look at you. And, uh, he's like, Listen, pal, I'm real sorry that some old man got his sword pinched and his son murdered a chick. But this sword is rightfully mine now, and I'm keeping it. It's rightfully the world's... Because I'm sorry, sir, that a whole of the North is going to get stomped What's... in the fucking dust by giants if Let's we don't have... take care of this problem. Let's have and our strongest man. is one heal. of the most important aspects Arm of this mission. He, uh, he, he, at this Material point, he, he starts ignoring Teclas and he turns to the rest of you, the Lorgar specifically, and uh, he says, Will you please relieve me of this drunken noble son idiot over here? What's the oh, word? We've got a lot buddy? of paperwork to do. Someone trashed the wink and kiss earlier, and I gotta write up all this bullshit. Don't that place the truth. is Don't a shithole. Hey, I see an opportunity he is, here. He is all of those things. You know what? Can I can I like put my hand on Teclas's mouth? Unfortunately, because yeah. yeah. this is, is getting dangerous. Yeah. Lena slides her hand over Teclas's mouth. Red plan. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and and try get him out of the chair. What's the red plan, huh? What's the red plan? We're gonna go outside. What's the red plan? We're gonna go outside now. Please. <laughs> Open up. I take Teclas outside. I grab him by the arms. <laughs> he is he is all of those things, but he is also right that uh, sword you wear. By the law of the land and the order of the gauntlet Ooh. is the property of Lord Zymorvin, a noble right. in this land. <clears throat> His property he, uh, he stands up and uh, and like stands closer than he needs to to you, and you guys are about equal height. He's a tall dude, um, and uh, he's like, "Listen, friend, gauntlet has no power in Yartar." City guards, what's the authority here? And that's me. I'm keeping the sword. You better get along and get back to the road and arbitrate in whatever petty cow disputes you find on the way. Mm. Listen, friend. <laughs> Listen, buddy. Don't call me friend. <laughs> um. Okay. Can we just have an out of character thing here? Sure. So, is it easier to come in and steal this thing later? Do we go hard in the paint? Like, I don't feel like this guy's gonna budge. We could kill him. Yeah, that's that's like objectively wrong though. And we've, <laughs> we we've skirted some lines today. We could kill him. <laughs> <laughs> outside, um, outside where Lena has dragged me, Teclas is yelling about how I take shits tougher than that prick. <laughs> and, and, and Harold, do you have minor illusion? You have minor illusion, right? Yeah. So, like, if I got in a yelling match with this guy, could you, like... The sword's not on his back anymore, right? He's doing paperwork. Could you, like, make a sword 
spear out the other sword. We can no. like, illusion. That's not what that's not what minor illusion does. I can make like minor sounds. Oh, that's it. Fuck. You can minor do like little sounds. visual things too, but it's like the illusion equivalent of stick figures. Mmm, got it. So input from the party. How do we go here? Well, are we in the same room as this guy? We're or outside. Is he behind, like, okay. So yeah, Tech and Lada are outside. I had to remove. Mm. Young, no, I mean like Lord. is this guy behind a cage or something? Or is he just uh, sitting the? There? The guard Brenner? No, he's just he's right now like face to face with Lorgar, staring him down. Right, right. I had to get right, Teclas right, out right. of there before he incriminated himself. I ain't going to jail. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a big, big, strong man. You're not going to go to jail. I'm not going to look. I don't pay attention. That I'm <laughs> bigger or stronger than I am. I'm well, thinking about paying off guy. this guy's he boss. Totally this current. <laughs> This guy is currently insinuating that uh, he's going to pin the uh, the ruckus at the wink and kiss on you guys and throw you all in jail if you don't get out of his sight. Okay. Is in this jailhouse with him? <sighs> how, how easy is this place to break into? Like, this is a holy man. Like, we need this it's for a jailhouse. Home. Oh, my God. But, from the, but, like, the front room. Like, it's not the cells, right? He's keeping it with his Just shit itself. Make a perception check. I'm going to. <laughs> what a gross. We're sending the shit out of that. Or lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky as <clears> fuck. <throat> okay. Click on the luck. I refuse. I'm trying it again. Let's see. Big money, no whammy. So, uh, like, this whole room is, like, enclosed with no windows or anything. There's just the one door uh, that is reinforced for security reasons. Um, there is, uh, like, a desk with some, uh, some bookshelves that he was sitting at earlier, a couple stools around there, and then, like, the cells and, like, a, uh, a trunk in a corner and, uh, like, an... Uh, a weapons rack that just has like some uh, some swords on it. Mm. So not easy to get into is what I'm hearing. I mean that's what you see. Yeah, it's a, yeah. We're... So should I go like and I didn't use my voice justice thing, did I? I didn't no. check. What was my role? So could I I like go all ape shit in his ass? What do you guys think? That or steal it? Do we just knock him out? Like that seems wrong. I don't know. Input. Sorry, yeah. I just that for the kitchen. I mean, <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna robbing, try Adam. robbing the city guard seems like a distinctly unlawful thing to do. He's a fucking corrupt <laughs> piece of shit. That's you not the law. Know that. No, you, you don't uh, just get to fucking keep whatever property wait, you do I know? Do I know if it. that's the law? It's I called would know, civil right? forfeiture. Bullshit. If it and no no and didn't this is fucking Second, stolen from a noble house? That's why fucking Teclas was uh, pissed off. <clears throat> it's kind of a, a gray art area legally. Like he's right in the uh, the city guard or the, like the authority in Yartar, and generally arbiters are like more of a wilderness kind of law. Mm. Um, you know for a fact that like the uh, the general like law of the land shared by a lot of these city states is that like when someone is taken in for a crime especially something like murder they are relieved of their personal property and it becomes property of the the city watch hmm. that seems like a bad law if um, yeah, if it's stolen like Teclas's logic is if it's stolen from a fucking noble house already and we have proof right. of it like yeah, Lorgar, you're not aware of any such precedent like that. So, like, technically it is the city guards. He'd be in the right. Right, as far as you're aware, yeah. Like, it's never come up that, like, noble property has shown up in, like, the legal system. Because, you know, rich people. Um, we could try and bribe him for it. If we're going to be honest. Like, how corrupt is this guy, right? <laughs> Anyways, um, my plan is to just take it from him. Techless, Techless is outside with Lena, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Techless is immediately starting to think of like, 
if the city guard is in charge here, who else is in charge? There's got to be a noble. There's got to be someone who is in charge of this land. Do I know there, anything There is a there? Lord Protector of Yartar. Okay, um, I'm going to talk to that motherfucker. Who is it? Where are they at? Do I know who it is? Yeah, who is it? Do I do I know? Uh, let me look it up. So I'm going to de-escalate that. And, and be like, you know... Uh, yeah, so <laughs> the... Uh, I'm sorry, it's not a Lord Protector. Uh, this is a, a bigger <coughs> town than Tribor. It is a uh, Water Baron. Ooh, a Water Davia noble. Um, Perfect. Her name is Nessa, Nessa, Nestra uh, Ruthoyl. Nestra. Are you going to go see a Lestra? I, I would like to. That's, Nestra that's Texas's have. plan. You just, stomp, okay. you just stomping off? Yep. I, I'm going. I'm, uh... I've sobered up a little bit. I got babysit Mad Teclas. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna say uh, you should very much watch your words, friend, as uh, they could be taken the wrong way. However, at this time, we will leave this here. I will return. And, this is good. Uh, Get the fuck out. Yo. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't like this guy. I don't door. like this guy. I'm, I fucking uh, hate this guy. I'm going to bite my tongue for now because I think after the huge bar fight, that's murdering this guy would be bad. Um, Albrecht, Edriel, what are you guys doing during this? Oh, Albrecht's gone. Andy? Andy, okay, they're both gone. Whatever, I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm I'm biting my tongue at this guy and I'm, I'm going to leave. What are you doing? You're in the... Yeah, he's doesn't like us <laughs> the feeling is fucking mutual this guy's prick crup cop hate him <laughs> all right you guys leave and uh you see teclas uh fuming at letta talking very fast at her yeah no, that could have gone better what do you mean you didn't get anything out of him he has decided the sword is his, and I'm afraid nothing short of uh, direct intervention seems likely to get it from him. Well, fuck him. I'm going to talk to the Water Baron. <laughs> Who is the Water Baron? The Water Baron is a noble in charge of these lands, and that motherfucker doesn't know what he's talking about. This is a property that has been conferred upon us rightly. We have, were collecting it in the name of its noble owner. He does not get to keep it. I don't care what he fucking says. How convincing is 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 Teclas in in Teclas's drunk ass state? How 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 convincing is he? Yeah, like do I like am I like this is a this is a great idea? <laughs> I mean, it's really up for you to decide. All right, I'm I'm gonna go along, but I'm I'm concerned. <laughs> he should be sobering up by now. Yeah. Yeah, if I am, he is. He's not slurring as nearly as much as he was, but he's still clearly got a buzz going. <laughs> he's, he's fiery. <laughs> fiery, okay. He's fiery right now. I'm, uh, I'm going with. All right. Uh, you guys start heading down towards the city center, and uh, that's where we're going to call it tonight, because I don't have anything prepared in that direction. All I'd right. like to. Right, um, but we can pick up with your meeting with the water baron next, next week. Next week, Dude, Teclas goes to the mayor. <laughs> I'm I'm excited that it's a water baron because if it's a water baron, those are water davian nobles, and we also have that agreement with. Uh, you actually Silverham. know that that she's not water davian. She's not water davian. Yeah. Never mind then. No, it's uh like Yartar is is part of like a coalition with the other big cities in the area, like Neverwinter and uh, and Waterdeep, and. Um, and they have like elected representatives known as water barons. Okay.